Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to this live stream. Welcome to this Saturday transmission, this channeling. Um, before we bring in the Arcturians, I just want to say thank you to everyone who attended the Solar Eclipse workshop last week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you were watching the replay, I hope you've got around to it. And, um, and I hope to see you all on the next Eclipse workshop, which is on Tuesday, the 8th of November, which will be the workshop for the total lunar eclipse called Becoming Your Bliss. So that is now live on my website. You're very welcome to have a little look. Um, but in the meantime, let's bring through the Arcturians and see what they wish to share with you today. Welcome everybody, welcome. Welcome, it is always a joy to be here with you, welcome. Mid-eclipse portal. Everyone enjoying the flow, the fire that Scorpio is bringing, we see. Considering Scorpio is a water sign, it is traditionally ruled by Mars. Much fire, much potency, much will. We wish to share with you just a short message. You may have heard the phrase, we know you humans like it a lot when you say mind over matter. But what does that really mean? In this world which you live in, everything that is created around you comes from your mind. But which part of your mind is doing the speaking? That's the question we would like to pose to you. For most people, it is their subconscious creating everything. The wounds and false perceptions from childhood, the disempowered feelings that most of humanity have. We've shared before many ways to know how you are attuned in this moment, but the easiest way is to see what is creating around you. If it's created, it's already been a thought. Now this eclipse portal specifically is set to burn away, to burn away the old beliefs. And so your body is matter. It was first mind and then it became matter. The emotion is the water that runs through the life force energy that runs through you all. And so, dear souls, what has been moving through you this past week? What has been flowing through you? How has your body felt? How has your matter felt? The body always wishes to attune to the highest frequency vibration, the highest mind out there. And the highest mind that you have access to is your superconscious self, your highest self. And so listen to your body. Listen to the body. Because if you do not slow down and you do not relax and you do not allow enough space for the higher mind to drop in, to be received. Well, then your matter, your body, will make you slow down because you've called it in. You've called in expansion. Your body has heard you, your mind has heard you. And this eclipse portal specifically is the gateway to help you transcend, lifting the veils back of your lower mind, the traps that you've placed around your own mind through where you choose to focus. For it is always a choice, dear ones, it is always a choice where your mind goes and how your mind focuses. So right now, as you're in between two eclipses, 
you were granted a beautiful flow of water this week. Old karma wished to transmute itself in the fires of the solar eclipse. You may have even felt it in your body if you have not allowed yourself to rest and to flow and to receive and to tune into the higher mind, then your body definitely will have let you, will have helped you. But it doesn't need to be that volatile. It doesn't need to be that abrupt. We would simply say, feel the heart, feel the higher mind, because it doesn't enter here. It first goes to here. So when you breathe deeply into here, into your heart, oh, you find union with your mind and with your heart. And that portal refocuses and allows the shift of the matter, the shift of the embodied frequency of the matter which is you. And as the principle of correspondence goes, as within, so without, as above, so below. And so, if you wish your body to be in more flow, if you wish your environment to be open, playful, joyful, and easy, well, dear ones, Breathe into your heart, connect the higher mind, and let the body move and release the old matter as the fires within you purge, burn away to create the space. And that space will be very well received by the time the lunar eclipse arrives. We love you all so very much. Do not forget everything that is around you in your reality, you have created, you are in control of that. But in order to change the matter, first you must change the mind. Which part of your mind do you let lead the way? So much love to you all, dear souls.